Good morning. Sorry I'm so late getting this out today. We had a <clears throat> vehicle being towed from our lot, one that Marie had loaned Don and Greg, and uh, it had uh, problems, and so we had somebody come out and, and tow it to their shop to work on it. So uh, he came right about 9 o'clock, which is normal, and we had to keep the dogs back and everything like that. So I'm sorry we're late, but we're here. Uh, what a read from uh, 1 Corinthians sixth chapter which was our devotion in our open windows today uh, Greg and I just had a very interesting experience makes a good illustration of what we're talking about here it says uh, in verse 15 of chapter 6 do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ shall I then take the members of Christ and make them members of a harlot certainly not or do you not know that he who is joined to a harlot is one body for with her for the two he says shall become one flesh but he who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with him. Flee sexual immorality. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits sexual immorality sins against his own body. Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God, and you are not your own? For you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Wow. What a passage. Greg and I just went out to get that car ready to uh, be towed. And uh, about, about a half hour ago, and we opened the back trunk and discovered that somebody, we're not going to blame who, uh, somebody left 10 pounds of potatoes in there, and that car has been shut up for almost a month. You can imagine the smell. You can imagine the critters that were all over the back floor. We took about a half an hour to clean that thing up and to move that, those potatoes out of there. Nothing smells so rotten as a potato. Uh, and it's a stink that lasts long. I just hope the auto band takes the smell out of the way so the mechanic can work on the car. Truth is, that's kind of what sin smells like to God. You notice what he said here is that our bodies are the temple. And when we sin, we bring stink into the temple. That means that when we are, as Christians, we need to start thinking about the things that we do and the things that we say and the sins that we commit because we're stinking up the temple. Truth is, it's hard to get that stink out. We did try Odoban. We even sprayed with bug spray to knock down the little flies that had gotten loose in there. Uh, but folks, there's only one thing that can take the stink of sin and the stench of sin and the consequences of sin out of that's Jesus Christ. This example kind of makes us think about our lives. You know, the, body says, uh, the Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and you are not your own. We don't belong to ourselves. The things that we do, uh, we think that we can get away with or we think that that nobody else knows about, folks, they stink to high heaven. God knows about them. And he is going to convict us and convince us of our sins. So we need to be ready, as the Bible says, to quickly come for confession and, and uh, ask for forgiveness. So folks, as this day goes by, let us each examine ourselves. What sins have we got in our life that stinks like rotten potatoes? Maybe it's time for us to get on our knees and ask forgiveness so that we can sweeten the smell inside the temple of God. God bless you. Have a great morning. I hope that I don't encounter anything else like this today, but there are possibilities. <laughs>